All right, hello there, everybody. Cholera with Rise here, bringing you set four of Samson Khan versus NBC Hero. We've got ourselves Firebat Hero. That is right, Leon Song versus Hyun this game. Hyun, the younger brother of Hyuk, of course. Um, and uh, <laughs> we'll see how he does here in this game. I actually don't know Hyun's stats. I'm actually looking at them. Actually, he is the older and much better at StarCraft cousin of Hyuk, because obviously they can't be that closely related, because he has a 50% win rate. That's right, 50-50 exactly, and there is no way anyone with more than 10% of the genes of Hyuk can have a 50-50% a win rate. Hyuk will never ever get that. He will never break 50% in his life, and I'm sorry about that, but he that is true. So we'll see. Is Hyun going to beat his family heritage of failure? Is he going to make a new word? Is he going to make me have to come up with Hyun himself? He's going to Hyun himself really badly? Or is he actually going to you know, show that he's no Hyuk after all? Well, uh, based off of just his, his record alone, I'd say that he's definitely not a Hyuk, but uh, certainly I love to find more Hyuks in the Hyuk. world because they make the world a better place, for sure. <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> they totally balance out, like, the, I don't know, the karma, not karma, whatever. The uh, there is the skill. There is <laughs> exactly, the bisuness of the world. There is Hyun himself, and now we're looking at Firebat here. These two are playing on Outsider, which is a really annoying map in my opinion. I, I really, I, I'm not entirely sure whether or not I like it, to be honest. I, I think that it could be a good map, but I just, for it's something just about it, I just, yeah, you know, you're right. That, that is it. It's ugly. It's ugly. I like, <laughs> it's the lava. How could, we haven't yes. seen, like, a, a, a Bifrost uh, tile set in a, a long time. You know, that winter tile set. Maybe because it hurts your eyes to look Medusa. at. Medusa? Either way. Oh, these, Bifrost. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, winter yeah. one. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so, I mean, either way, it looks like these players are going to be uh, playing it up in the heat of the char tile set. And Firebat Hero, we'll have to see if he decides to go for a mech build. I've I got to say that I I've been, I would argue that Firebat Hero is in uh, a little bit of a slump. I, well, I don't know. I guess he, he's not playing up to his, uh, his performance of, say, four months ago, three months ago, where he was really beating a lot of good players, doing pretty well in the single leagues. Uh, but right now, he just hasn't been beating that many good players of note. He's lost to a lot of no-names, and so I'm hoping that he can pull it out. And he lost the savior of all people. Oh my god, I almost had a freaking heart attack watching that with oh. Lazard of all people, the biggest savior fan in the world, giving me heartburn as savior know, one on the most Zerg favored map in the world. I mean, Battle Royale. Come on, give the kid a break. So uh, hopefully he can pull it out against a, a player like Hyun. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I hope so too. I mean, I do want to see Fire right here back in form, uh, if nothing else, for the uh, the humor he brings to the game. And evidently, since Bisu did that crazy ceremony against Lita, evidently dancing is allowed. Or maybe you're only allowed to dance if you're Bisu and, you know, God loves you or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if you're pretty. I don't know if you if you already have been contracted by the Wonder Girls to dance for them because you're a girl. Um, but yeah, anyway, we've got ourselves uh, some sort of uh, pool first build. I think it was actually a nine pool there, but nine pool without gas for Hune. Meanwhile, uh, of course, we're going to see a mech build. Uh, we always see mech builds, and it might be a one base mech build. I think um, I've, we, I think this map lends towards one base strategies for Tyrants versus Zerg. It's not that great of a, uh, a fast expand map, um, so we'll, we'll see what happens here. I really do think, though, that uh, Firebat Hero could be doing a lot better. Maybe it is because of the lack of ceremonies. I mean, he can't do his what he needs to do. I mean, he can't get a, a nice, satisfying, humiliating dance-off. Yeah. I mean, he just he needs to do some pelvic he thrust, on man. That. Yeah, he lives off of pelvic thrusting in front of the camera. <laughs> if, you, if you deny him that, you deny him, like, like his energy. Like, uh, you know, it's like denying Flash um, whatever pills he takes to keep his eyes not... It's crazy. I mean, I know what happened to Flash. He overclocked his CPU. That's what happened. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> they overclocked his octocore. That's what happened. He needs more heating. He needs, like, another fan or two <laughs> inside of that case of his. You know what I mean? Like, if he's a cyborg Terran and he has eight cores, he basically, they, were, they just went a little too aggressive with their overclocking. Anyway, um, we've got a bunch of lings out here in front of Firebat Heroes Base, and we've got a two-hatched layer here coming from Hune. So Hune going to put a little pressure early on, and whoa! Firebat Hero going right for a wow. starport here. Is this going to be a Wraith Rush or something? What do you think? 
<laughs> yeah, I can only assume. Well, there's, there's a possibility that he's going to carry out the fantasy build, and then the other possibility oh. is that he's going to go for That's a right. wraith rush. But the the fantasy build has been so popular lately on like every map. I, I I can't believe how much I've been seeing it. It feels like it's constestly every time I turn around, someone and else loses. is doing a fantasy build. Yeah, I know. But uh, I mean, maybe Firebat Hero could pull it off. It looks like he's going to send a vulture over right away to do some harassment. But there's a sunken already at that expansion. So and you can see the uh, vulture kind of just staring at it like, damn it. I can't pass you. And the sunken sitting there like, you shall not pass. And yeah, so it's going to be bad shape right now. Firebat Hero actually putting down a uh, expansion. So this definitely is making me believe that it's going to be the fantasy build once again, which means that he's going to be very low on units most likely oh, for, uh, in terms of ground units anyway for, for quite a while. There's the drop, well, not the drop ship, but there's the control tower. So he's most likely going to be making a, a, a drop ship as well. And uh, we'll have to see what he decides to do with this. I mean, he's got some vultures oh, out. So most likely, again, we're going to see that vulture drop. But I mean, really, Zerg players can identify this. They should be ready for this vulture drop uh, that, that is yeah. expected from the fantasy build. I mean, really, who thinks they're fooling anyone anymore? That was a specialized build to take out well, who? 4GG or, 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 or whoever. Like, uh, I don't know, two seasons ago in an OSL or MSL. A GG play. <laughs> Ah, damn. GG play, yeah, GG play, yes. I know, and, and the, well, obviously he knows about it because he let a Ling in there and he let him see every single building inside of the main base. So, I mean, yes, we know you're doing that build that I don't like mentioning. It is so bad, the Vulture Drop build. Um, that is, by the way, the definition of fantasy build for all of you guys who are like, well, everyone's winning with the fantasy build. If you're talking about they're winning with, like, vultures or we're winning with mech in general, they're not winning with the fantasy build. They're winning with vultures and mech. The fantasy build is this. A vulture drop as the first thing you do as a Terran player, and also you have to expand at the same time, which just makes it hideously difficult to pull off. And as you see right now, um, Firebird Hero is going to have a lot of trouble here because he's been scouted. He did a build that's, frankly boring and, and overdone and now um well actually he might have a spot no no he doesn't even have a spot and whoa my god he just oh. got scourged oh this is gonna be disastrous is he gonna have what is he gonna do valkyries next gee um that's not gonna work but uh firebat hero has gotten two drones <laughs> killed so far this entire game oh he can't even reach the drones on the low ground Oh, this is just embarrassing here. Oh, this is so bad for Firebred Hero. I mean, this is this is what this build does to you. It makes you lose. Oh, he's gonna go Valkyries. <laughs> yeah, but just wait. He's he's still gonna win with this. He's, I, I I'm gonna promise you, he will still win with this. He's gonna take right. Hyun down because he is Firebat Hero, and then and then he's gonna dance in Hyun's face. I am calling right. it now. Right. Everybody, watch this. Nice. Firebat Hero has come back from bigger deficits from this and won the game. So yeah, assuming that's true. he's back in his real form, he can do it. And he's got a lot of turrets up. He's also putting down a bunker. Of course, he doesn't have. Oh, he's got only a couple of Marines. He can't manage to get the damn bunker down, though. Oh, that's he's bad. He's got a handful of Marines that he's going to try to get oh, in there. Oh, that's really bad. There's the Valkyrie that he can't actually commit because there's two Scourges there. So oh, this man. going to be real tough for him to pull off. Two Valkyries oh, out. Bad. It looks like he's trying to run away from the Scourge. Four Scourges oh, out, though. Bad. None of them get taken oh, out. Oh, oh man. my Losing God. One Valkyrie. Oh, Second this Valkyrie is so goes bad. Down. They oh, haven't this even fired one <laughs> rocket. Oh, this is going to be horrible. <laughs> that's but why Valkyries still, suck. Firebat here. <laughs> Firebat Hero will no. win. <laughs> no, he won't. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> this is why his build is so beatable. It is so beatable. And really, he fa I mean, it is partially because Hewn happened to go for a very fast two hatch muta, but uh, two hatch muta beats the crap out of it if you know it's coming and you get like one sunken colony at each base, and that's all he's had to do. I mean, Hewn is not a great player, but he certainly has been good enough to beat this build. And wow, third Valkyrie going down. I mean, Hewn doesn't even care right now. Uh, he, it doesn't even matter. Hewn gonna. It uh, looks like there is a bunker up, but Firebrand Hewn obviously doesn't have stim or any of the things that you normally would have for Marines. Instead, he just has plain old Marines, and uh, now he doesn't have a natural expansion either. I mean, I don't even blame Firebrand by hero for this I blame the build and his um and and well I guess I, what I blame him for is not killing that one link not having anything on his ramp to stop the scouting uh, that was just weak by him I think yeah he's not gonna win this damn it damn you fire by hero you may be just uh, lose even more faith in you uh, well, I can only say that I hope he starts to come back from this slump eventually. He's definitely in a horrible p spot right now. Yeah, he's... Uh, three base Zerg against one base Terran. Not going to work out for him. He does got a bunker uh, hidden in the background, but really 
not going to matter. Uh, he's getting a couple of shots off on those Muta, but those Muta have free reign on the whole base now at this point, and Firebat Heroes got nothing to fight this off. So, uh, unfortunately, my calling it now is not going to pay off right now, unfortunately, but uh, I, I, I'm actually surprised he hasn't GG'd quite yet. And Hyun showing why he's not Hyuk, apparently, unless he blows his lead somehow, and then, <laughs> then we can really call him Hyuk. GG! GG! <laughs> Well, I think no! Firebird Hero was hoping that he was uh, playing against Hyuk, but no, he was playing against Hyun. If he was playing against Hyuk, I'd be like, Firebird Hero is in the lead right now because of the uh, <laughs> of the massive chance of a blowout from Hyuk's brain. Like, suddenly he just goes catatonic and, like, <laughs> tells his drones to self-destruct. There's actually a, a special attack that only Hyuk has called self-destruct. Every one of his units has it. You press it and it just dies. It destroys itself. Like, there's certain games where, you know, Abilities can destroy themselves. That's what happens to his. Um, but anyway, Firebird Hero looking a little bit uh, distraught. Is all around his base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> his units actually can fall off cliffs, believe it or not. Um, normally they, you know, can't, but Hooks does <laughs> do. Man, Firebird Hero getting emotional as he usually does when he loses badly. I mean, Firebird Hero doesn't just celebrate when he, he wins. He should be. He also... He's been playing like shit lately, man. Oh, <laughs> curse my bed. <laughs> He also, uh, wow, the NBC coach looks like a pimp daddy, but um, he also <laughs> he also does get emotional when he loses, right? I mean, you've seen that many of times before. Yeah. Not quite as emo as I mean, he loses Xavier. And he gets... Oh, I don't know. He's getting up there. He's, he's getting <laughs> pretty emo recently. Uh, looks like NBC Hero gonna... <laughs> wait, wait, go ahead. He just wants to dance, you know? He's like... Damn it, I <laughs> just, just let the kid dance. dance. <laughs> <laughs> you could dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know what you know what's causing him to lose that that beanie Frizian. that Frozean yeah Frozean's beanie. What that that is just harmful for the team, man. That is that is just that is what's causing Samson Khan not to win these things. All right, we're moving on to the East match. Let's see what happens and uh, let's see who takes this. Thanks for watching.